My name's Zoe Hinton, and I'm here with a person. A person, and she fixed it! She fixed it! <laughs> yeah, we were trying to record earlier, but there wasn't any sound, and I was- I spent a while trying to fix it, and then I realized it was just because I had something plugged into- <laughs> plugged? Yeah, plugged we? into the wrong thing, and I was just like, ugh. Weren't we, like, getting negative sound Yeah, somehow? at one point the sound was like... <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> I don't know how I done this, but I, I done it, so... Yep, you're but right But it's okay, because I undone it. But what I would hear, all I... Like, because she was gone, all I could hear was like, Oh, what is this playing to? <laughs> was this important? <laughs> I hope it wasn't important. Oh, no. Now I'm scared she's gonna like do like just plug the un the whole computer or some unplug the whole computer. You know, knowing me, I probably would. <laughs> and then I would blame you. I mean, it would be my fault. <laughs> and then even if Buddy did it, I would still blame you. Buddy is not allowed in this room while podcasts are happening. Cause he is the, the destroyer of podcasts. That's like if he was. Like, you know Medieval Times when it's like something, something, something like that, a title? Buddy would be Buddy, destroyer of podcasts. <laughs> oh, I think the most paper cut is my throat. Um, oh well. Okay. Let's see. What's on the notes? Rebels. Rebels. <laughs> Someone's trying to out Star Wars me at school, okay. which I didn't think was possible. Tell the stories, because you didn't really tell me any stories besides someone said, oh, Star Wars me, will you help me kill him? I'm like, yeah, sure. What's up? Let's do it. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. <laughs> um, good thing he doesn't listen to my podcast. He doesn't know I exist. Actually, he kind of does now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, uh, I don't, I mean, I always saw him, I, he's in my math class, and I always saw that he had, like, he had one of the smugglers' bounties, like, C-3PO hat, and he always wore it, and now it's, like, extremely dirty and, like, beat up and stuff, right? And, um, <laughs> and then one time I wore that hat, because I needed a hat, because my hair was funny looking. <laughs> it was so weird. Anyway, so, um... And I look good in hats. I like hats. They hide everything. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, and then he saw me. He was like, "Hey, stop trying to steal my hat." Uh, and then I kind of looked at him. I'm like, "Sorry, you're not special anymore. I have this hat too." <laughs> and <laughs> I'm so <mean>. roasted. <laughs> um, and then the uh, and then he was like, "Well, I had this hat." longer and I was like it was smuggler's bounty we had it at the same time like you can't tell me that <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah and I just kept roasting him um, kept roasting him and then uh, later I didn't really realize that he was a Star Wars fan until my classmate that sits next to me in math is best friends with him and he was like yeah was Parker's that's the name uh, should I say his name? Oh well, I already did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter anymore. You, you, you can't Parker. say something and then be like, "Oh, should I say that?" <laughs> now, whenever I think, "Oh, should I say that?" Even if it's not Star Wars, I still feel like Dave's watching me. He's anyway. always watching. He knows all. Um, so yeah, he's like, "Oh yeah, that guy's been like a Star Wars fan for so long." Like, he's, he's, like, a big Star Wars fan. I was like, really? Big Star Wars fan, huh? And then... He came, your honor. he came over and we started talking about Linkin Park. Because he kept trying to tell me that it sucked. And I was like, okay. I agree with you. That <laughs> Linkin Park music sucks now. But... Back in 2002, it was pretty great. Sorry, not Star Wars. Um... <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, he said that he was a Star Wars fan, and I was like, wow, I'm a Star Wars fan, too. He's like, yeah, well, I wore this, I wear Star Wars clothes every day. I was like, ha, me too. And, and then, uh, and then he was like, well, my, one of my family members works here and owns this, and I have a Star Wars, like, Darth, uh, a lightsaber prop. 
I was like, cool. Do you have a Star Wars costume? How long have you been Star Wars costuming, huh? Was it five years? No, I don't think so. Was it 11 <laughs> years? Right? There is Zoe. <laughs> I win. <laughs> or maybe it's you win. 10. It's almost, uh, I don't know. What's math? Well, it's longer than you. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I win. But you're older than me. Not fair. By no, like I- six months. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> uh, um, and then I was gonna say something, and then I didn't, cause then it's it's gone. No. So he was saying that, and then I was like, oh, and then I thought, oh, you know, no one watches Star Wars Rebels, so I'll get him with that. And then I was like, do you watch Star Wars Rebels? He's like, yeah, I watch Star Wars Rebels. Clone Wars is better. I was like, you can't say that because. Rebels is not done yet. Uh, I always think like they're different shows. Just yeah, there's a lot of things. Like there's things that are similar with them, but there's things that are different. It's just being like, oh well, I think this show is better than this show. Like they're completely different genres. I know this show and this show aren't very specific examples, but I couldn't think of any. (laughs) So (laughs) (laughs) good job, Zoe. Um, yeah, and then, so he was like, so he does Star Wars Rebels, and then I kept thinking, oh, well, I read some of the books, <laughs> but I didn't hit him with any of the books, uh, and then he left, and and then I didn't realize I said this out loud, but I was like, oh no, I'm scared, what if he's gonna out Star Wars me? <laughs> <laughs> my partner. No, you gotta be like, hey, do you have a Star Wars podcast? And you win. <laughs> and then, like, my classmate next to me was like, oh my god, you're scared? What? Lizzie. <laughs> like, I was like, he's gonna out Star Wars me. <laughs> and then, and then, and then it, like, under my breath, I was like, I have a podcast. Like, <laughs> I have a Star Wars podcast. I have Star Wars friends. Uh,. <laughs> And then he, um, yeah, it's just, he's scaring me, scaring me. And then he said, just today, he was like, oh, for next Halloween, I'm going to be Vader, and my two friends are going to be Stormtroopers. I was like, hey, I can be Sabine, you know? (laughs) He was like, ugh, just wear Leia. I was like, but Leia's too, like, generic. Everyone does Leia. (laughs) He's like, but you could pull off a Leia. I was like, no, I can't. No, I like Sabine. She has a helmet. It's nice. No <laughs> one can see my face. Um, yeah. I'm really scared, Zoe. I, I'm sorry. I think you'll he win. You can't outstar You're a Star Wars, Wars geek girl. You'll always outstar Wars him. You can't. You can't. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the time. It was, this was in, like, ninth grade. And this guy came over to me at lunch, and I, like, kind of knew him, but, like, not really. And he was like, hey, I heard you like Star Wars, and I was like, uh, yeah, kind of everyone knows that. But whatever. And, um, and he was like, you know, I have, a, um, a full Stormtrooper costume. Like, acting like it was, like, the craziest thing in the world, and I was like, oh, really? Do you? <laughs> and he was showing me pictures, and it was one of the, um, the, uh, like, the Hasbro ones. Like, you know, yeah, <laughs> your face, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, um, and he was showing me, and I was like, oh, yeah, here's a picture of my dad, by the way. <laughs> and he was like, his face was like, I can't even describe it, it was priceless, and he just, like, just, like, slowly walked away. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to show him a picture of my costume, but Axel had the phone. <sighs> He's a and thief. now all I have is pictures of me, and I'm ready. Like I'm ready with pictures. <laughs> you got it. I got this. You gotta um, be like, hey, bruh, I had um, a panel at celebration. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Just uh, I'm scared. And then I texted my dad, and I showed you. And he's like, he's like, oh, wow, that's so cool. You know, because I told him, oh, he has this, he has that. 
And my dad's like, oh, that's so cool. I was like, you're not helping, man. <laughs> um, and then See, he's for like, once, that's- I was the one giving the dark side option. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, it doesn't have to be a contest. He could be a powerful ally. And I'm like, no, no, no allies. No Star Wars allies. I'm the number one. Sorry. <laughs> He must die. No Actually, even, he's... No, no one even tries me oh. anymore at school. I've asserted my dominance. I don't know <laughs> how to do that. I could just wear a Sabine to school, but... I've done that, like, twice. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't... I... Because mm. then I won't be able to go up the stairs. <laughs> the million flights of stairs. Did you go upstairs that... in Sabine? Well... There's, like, six floors, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but you can still do it, Liz. You have to have dedication. No. Just thinking about it is giving me a panic attack. <laughs> like, no. And then I have my helmet. And I have books and books that I need to carry up well, the stairs. Well, don't wear the helmet. No. But, uh, helmet helps with anxiety. <laughs> And the, the, the fright, frightened, the frightness. I don't think that's a word. What's a word now? So, yeah, I can't. I need to figure out how, and it's a big school. Lizzie, out of curiosity, what of the new canon books have you read? Um, I listened to the audiobook of Dark Disciple. Uh, let's see. Heard it. Lost Stars. I haven't read that much, honestly. Uh, Aliens, which was amazing and people should read because it's so good. Uh, I listened to a couple audiobooks of some. I, th- I have. I don't think I've listened to all the point of view stories yet. But I want to get to that. Um, I just finished point of view last Friday, so a week ago. You like it? It was really good. I love the uh, um the last story. It made me like grin. I read it like three times because it just made me smile. What's that one? It's the um it's the Journal of the Wills by Tom Engelberger. That one just. <sighs> it made me like I had like. People probably thought I was crazy because I was reading it in math class. And people thought because I just started grinning and like reading it like over and over again. It was just great. I loved it. Like when me, when my dad and I were listening to it on the, in the car, like on the way back home from school, like it was like Journal of the Wills. And like spoilers for people, you know, saying right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's like Journal of the Wills, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And then it starts off, and then it's interrupted. I'm like, okay, what happened? <laughs> Is this really a point of view story? And my dad's like, yep. And then we just finished it, and me and my dad are just kind of silent. And my dad's like, everyone's going to be extremely disappointed. Aww. <laughs> well, because like, everyone wants to know about the, like, the wills and stuff. And then they just got that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was pretty great. It was very Tom Engelberger. I don't know if you read the Origami Yoda books, but I read yeah. them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. It was I very... Have. I okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I don't know. It was very him. It was great. I love them. I love yeah. that last one. I love... I, love- <laughs> 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 I liked... I really liked the... um. I can't remember the names of, like, any of them, but I really like the, um, Brio Organo one. That made me cry. That was good. That was good. Um, what was the I... one with the guy and the little daughter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, clearly you know what I was talking about. That one made me cry, too. I read it in English, and, like, this guy looked over at me, and he's like, Zoe, are you okay? And I was just like... <laughs> like wave the book in his face and then kept reading (laughs) okay okay i have a story and i look like white right now and i don't like that 
<laughs> I'm trying to fix the lighting. It doesn't even matter because, like, you can't even. Oh, never mind. Okay, I fixed it. Um, <laughs> I was. We were going to a uh, Star Wars event, and I was dressed up as Rey. And uh, <sighs> we listened to the story, and <laughs> we were listening, and then. There was, like, that moment where I was like, oh, you know what would suck? Like, before they even said it, I was like, you know what would suck if, like, that guy sent his daughter flying motorcycle? Why? <laughs> like, you know what would suck if that guy put his daughter on Alderaan? You know, that would really suck, huh, Dad? And my dad's like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, um, and then, <laughs> and then later, and it's like... And you're gonna be so happy on Alderaan. And I'm like, no! <laughs> I'm going to choose to believe that the girl, that the ship did not get to Alderaan before it was blown up. Like, they didn't, like, they get there and they're like, oh, this is nothing. What do we do now? I'm gonna to choose to believe that because the alternative is just too much for my little heart. I just couldn't. I was like, oh. Or my the other God. one was, um, oh. in, in the very first one, I think. But it was, uh, the one with, wow, I just hit my microphone, I'm sorry. The one with, um, with, uh, Captain Antilles. And, like, one of the last lines is like, oh, at least my wife and daughters will be safe on Alderaan. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dummies! Like, I know you don't know, but dumb! <laughs> dumb! <laughs> I started crying so bad. Like, we went, we got to the Star Wars event. Like, literally, they just said that. They were like, oh, you're going to be so happy on Alderaan. Because, like, he's recording the video, right? And and my dad parks the car, and I just start crying my eyes out. <laughs> and we were walking, like, carrying all our costuming stuff, and I'm just crying on the way <laughs> over. Because, like, and then there was children there, uh, and they were they were seeing, they were looking at me. But, because we were going to go to, like, the back to get changed and everything, and I was just going, <laughs> I couldn't, it's like, no, that actually made me cry, and I just, yeah, that made me cry, was... Ugh. and then I, I looked at, I actually did, I looked at my dad, I was like, you know, if I'm crying, Zoe is probably, like, a <laughs> hundred times crying. <laughs> I was. I was a mess. I just couldn't. What other, I was... what other ones were there? I really liked them all. There wasn't any that I didn't like. But, um, there's, um... The one that confused me, when we were going to San Francisco, we were listening to some of them. I like the Shakespeare, uh, oh, Emperor... Oh, yeah. Have you read the, um, Shakespeare books? No. no. I'm not good with Shakespeare. Oh. Because I've read those. I haven't read the Force Awakens uh, one, but I've read okay, the rest. We'll talk about the Okay. <laughs> what the point of you? What was that story called? The one where I cried so bad? Lena. Lena. Right. Uh. Oh, I like the Jawa one. I mean, it's probably just because I love Jawas. That was so cute. It was the tiniest Jawa. <laughs> did you finish the book, Zoe? I did. I finished it last week. So what's your favorite one? Um, I think the Brio Organo one. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Which, which one's your favorite? Oh, favorite? I don't know. There's some really, really good ones. Did you like Journal of the Wills? Uh, that was, like, I got trolled. <laughs> <laughs> that was one that we were, like, all waiting for, and then I got to it, and I was like, yeah, Tom Engelberger, I should have seen this coming. <laughs> that was my my fault for getting so excited. I love that one, though. I like the Qui-Gon one. Oh, yeah. That was the Qui Gon one is good. That yeah, one was painful well. emotionally. It was good, and then I liked uh, I liked the one about the stormtrooper that's born <laughs> in the storm for no reason. That's just like stormtrooper. That's like, and my bucket's hot, and this stupid thing is sweaty, <laughs> sand all up in my suit. I mean, that would be me as a stormtrooper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. Yes, say that, old guy. Bless. <laughs> Let me go get your book. Okay. okay. They were all really good, and I think everyone should read them. I remember when I was reading in English the one day, not the day I cried, the other day. I was reading, 
And my teacher was like, oh, Zoe, is that... Because my, my English teacher is a Star Wars fan. She's like, oh, Zoe, what's that book? And I explained it to her, and she just pulled out her phone and ordered it on Amazon. <laughs> like, immediately. <laughs> it was great. Yay. I actually smell something go downstairs. And I can't tell if that's my grandma's cooking or my dad's cooking. It's probably my grandma's cooking. Never mind. Sorry. Okay. Uh, um, I was just like, food? Food? Um, I like the... I can't remember his name now. The bartender. Woo her? Is that how you say yeah. it? Yeah. That took a great twist. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I was like, whoa. All right. Um, Interesting. Now I, now, I, now I get him. Now I don't hate him. And I love how he is. He's like, oh, this person. Oh, this person. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Order a drink. Like, uh, that's I love just how it's just like, like everyone just like kind of hates Han Solo. Cause not because he's like a bad person. No he's just him. annoying. No one likes Luke. And they're like, oh, this kid and his stupid hair and his stupid clothes. I'm like, Wait, which was the story when they said it was a little blonde girl? What story which was that? There was one of the stories I, rem I remember I was reading. It was one of the Cantina ones. And the person's like, oh, this old guy came in with a little blonde girl. And I was like, I don't know. Which story was that, though? Assume it's gender. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the, um... Oh, wow. I don't know how to words. Tentacle man. Not tentacle. Like, the no long nose. Snoot. Snoot. Snout. I know what, who you're talking about. I don't know what his name is. I think it was that story. Hmm. I like the one with uh, Dianago. Oh, yeah. That made me sad. That was, that and, was, it, was and it was like an explanation. As to why this creature was living in the Death Star's trash. Because yeah, there never really was I, one. It's yeah. just kind of like this high-tech space station. And then they've got a garbage dump with a weird creature in it. <laughs> and, like, I never really... Like, I never noticed... Like, I never thought about it. Because, like, it was just, like, ever since I was little. It's like, oh, tentacle monster thing in the Death Star's trash can. Duh. You know, this is what no, happens. I, I always kind of thought about it. I was like... Why do they have that there? Like, why haven't they gotten rid of it? Or I never, why would they put that there? I never even thought about it. And then, like, I saw, like, a post thing online. And, like, someone was, like, asking. And I was like, that that is weird. <laughs> what? Whoa. Yeah. I like the, um, the, the bump when he <laughs> hits his, he was one of the ones that was, Mind trick by Obi Wan, and he hits his head, and suddenly he's like, "Oh wait, <laughs> that was perfect." Uh, I like, yeah, I, what my dad was saying about the born in the sand. Uh, was it born in the sandstorm? I think it was born in the storm. Born in storm makes sense. Um, that one was really funny. I was listening it to it, and I was like, "Oh my god." It was, like, this relatable, you know? Just, like, complaining. Everything. Like, there's sand, it's hot. Everyone here is <laughs> stupid. They're just, everyone's mean. I hate it. Everything smells. I love, love do-backs. I know. That was just so cute. I was like, aw. I think sweet. the scene where he got mind-tricked in that one was probably, like, the best. Because it's just like, yeah, of course we don't need to see his identification. <laughs> Why would we? Say it, old man. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I say that now during class like someone will say something and I'm like yes say it bless <laughs> like I have no idea what I'm talking about and I'm like never mind <laughs> never, never mind oh, just like today I don't remember what kind of joke I was gonna make but I was gonna make a Star Wars joke and I was laughing to myself cause I was gonna say it and then all I could say was, you know what, I'm not even going to say it because you guys won't understand it. And they just kind of looked at me and they're like, okay. I was like, okay. It's still funny in my head. <laughs> I wish I remembered. I get it. I'm going to go to your school so we can make weird Star Wars jokes together and everyone will just stare at us. Like, yes. bro, what, what is you? <laughs> just like the other day someone was choked, like, someone was coughing and I was like, hey, don't choke on your aspirations. <laughs> And they were like, what? And I was like, nothing, <laughs> never mind. 
Never mind. So yeah. Yeah. That's my sad life. Uh, I have friends that like get Star Wars jokes, but like they don't get the good ones. Like they get like the basic ones, but they're not on our level. I oh, need friends wow. on my level. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at least I need friends in school. I got friends outside of school that are on our level. I need friends in school. <laughs> I'll just go to your school. Please. And then Actually, we'll no. No. I don't want to subject you to that. What? I'll go to your school. <laughs> okay. Come to my school. It's, it's pretty nice. It's nice. You know. It's nice there. There's a bunch of artsy, artsy. Artsy, artsy. Yeah. There is, like... Apparently, get it, get it. Haas is online. Why does that name sound familiar? I don't know. I think he's a podcaster. Can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so there was like a get a taste of OSHA, like, so they blocked out 10th Street and they just had food. Like, you had to have tickets, so. And why cars? Why? <laughs> I don't like cars. Have you started driving yet? No. Ah. Why? I, I don't know. Lazy. Parkour. Too much stuff to do. I don't think you can do parkour with a car. <laughs> that sounds like a very bad idea. <laughs> said parkour. Oh, I like, said parkour. I was like, no, yeah, it's, Lizzie. It's, it's, fuck. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I know that you can't do parkour. <laughs> I didn't think you did because I thought you said parkour. I was like, no, it doesn't, no. Bad. <laughs> yep, that's definitely what I said. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Keep thinking to bring that guy on the podcast. Do it. I'll so that fight him. He knows. So that what? I'll fight him. Fight him. Like, we'll fight him through the screen. Yes. <laughs> that would be scary if you could just, like, reach through your screen and, like... That was, oh. a, <laughs> that was a proposal at Model UN one year. <laughs> Someone, because the issue that the GA was tackling was, um like cyber crimes and so one of the issues that almost got passed was a proposal to build a machine that when someone commits a cyber crime an arm comes out of their computer and smacks them across the face wow <laughs> oh yeah or what Stupid. else happens in GA GA is crazy it's lit um oh uh, what else oh one year um there was the issue of... I wasn't here. This is my first year, but I hear all the stories. There's an issue of um, overpopulation in prisons. And the solution that almost got passed was to send prisoners into space. What? <laughs> <laughs> sounds something the dollop would talk about. Or, Yeah. It's it's a great it's a good time. Model UN is great. It's fun. Love history. What else? Someone so, someone else is telling me about something today. American history is the best kind of history because it's stupid and funny, and also sometimes it is good good history, but most of the time no. Um, Sorry. Oh, I'm trying to think of what it was now. Something about just like there was a problem with like spies or something, and the solution that I think it did get passed was to have just bears eat everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, Monty, it's a great solution. If you, get, if you ever get the chance to do model your own, you should totally take it. It's fun. It's great. And do GA, because GA is all the, where all the shenanigans are. Great. Yes, definitely. It's a good time. Sounds amazing. 
Oh, okay. You seem disappointed in me, Lucy. I'm not. I'm okay. not. So, we're 30 minutes into the podcast. We haven't done anything on our notes. <laughs> we should do this. Um, okay. Uh. So, Rebels. We had two episodes. The Occupation of Flight of the Defender. Um, Sabine's new season four armor. Is, has appeared on like in an episode for the first time so that's cool I like it I mean I always <laughs> like it <but> still. <laughs> good she has new pants she have to get new yeah. pants it looks well, like I don't think she had it in this episode but I was looking at the poster earlier and I think her jetpack is still the same which means we only have to make one jetpack <laughs> one jetpack one jetpack and everyone had dumb outfits, except Hera's was- Hera had an amazing outfit. Everyone else had dumb yeah. outfits and dumb hats, except Sabine. <laughs> True. That, like, my mom wants to do that Hera, but that's just too much paint, man. Doesn't she do an Ayla, though? She stopped doing Ayla a few times after. Um, yeah. It's- I like- I like Hera. Hera's costume was really good. Everyone else looked kind of dumb. But it's okay. Because I love them. Um, yeah, the occupation. What else? There's, I liked how there was a lot of season one references in this episode. Because we haven't had those in a while. And then it's like, hey, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the episode, by the way. But it's like, hey, um, old Joes and, um, Jai. And, you know, there's like Sabine's art in the sewers. And they went in the sewers. It was just nice. There's more, I'm sure, and I just... Mm. Ezra was complaining about the poster. Because <laughs> that's an Ezra thing to do. Yeah. I mean, that's what everyone's thing is. I think. Yeah. I think about it. Motorcycles no. Besides Hera, because she can't really wear hats all that well. Um... Sabine was the only one without a hat. I'm gonna choose to believe that Ezra's like, Here, Sabine, wear this. And she's like, No, that's dumb. Get that away from me. I'm already wearing the stupid outfit. I'm not wearing a stupid hat, too. That's what I'd do. <laughs> Poor Zeb, though. He had the big, weird hat. <laughs> it's all like... Even Chopper pointed it out. I was like, Thank you. Thank you. Poor Zeb. Kanan had to wear, like, the sunglasses to cover his mess. Well, I'm almost like, what the heck happened? <laughs> Kanan, why? And, um, Ezra. Ezra and Kanan were, like, a little color-coordinated. Like, just a little bit. It was kind of neat. I have something. What do you have? It's a Kylux. It's no. Those don't go on the notes anymore. Do you just send them straight to me? Oh, they don't. They don't work anymore. It makes me sad. <laughs> okay, Lizzie. This isn't Rebels. I know. <laughs> um, what else about the occupation? Oh, Visago was there, and Puffer Pigs, and Rex, and everyone was kind of like, not well, not everyone, but Rex and Sabine were like low-key dragon callus and I thought it was really funny <laughs> yeah. um, I, I like I like callus's jacket I really want his jacket it's a cool jacket oh. I still don't think he's hot callus but I like his jacket <laughs> how do you not see it I don't know I just I don't I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. don't. He looks like... looks like a person. <laughs> don't, don't know. I... I don't know. I see him, and I see sideburns, and kind of weird eyebrows, <laughs> and dumb hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lizzie. I know you're disappointed in me, but... I, I'm sorry. 
still Please don't it. send me a million pictures of Callus now. I'm trying to find some. God. I think but we can all I agree, though, look. that his, his jacket is, like, cool. I, I haven't seen his jacket. What do you mean you haven't seen his jacket? He's been wearing it. I know, but I don't look at his clothing. Why? It's a cool jacket. That's what I care about. I don't care about hot callus. I care about his hot jacket. That's what I want. I'm gonna send you this. That's uh, what you get. I'm, I'm, I swear, Lizzie, I'm trying to see it. But I, I got nothing. What are you sending me? That's not callus, that's Thrawn. Yes. Oh, please don't tell me hot Thrawn is a thing, because I can't. I'm done, I no. quit. No, mm -mm. no hot Thrawn. Sorry, no. None okay, for good. you, Zoe. Good, I... <laughs> <laughs> if there was hot Thrawn, if that was a thing, I would quit. I'm done. Give up. Give up on what? It's not even, like, an actual thing. I don't know, but I would. <sighs> he does look pretty cool, though. At least in that picture. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Lost cats. Lost cats. They were, we're, we're still in the occupation because we still need to talk about the Canera moment that killed me. It killed me, Lizzie. Which killed one? Me. What do you mean, which one? Which one? In the occupation. Occupation. With Kanan and Hera. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was like, like, I felt myself, like, my face was heating up and I was blushing and, like, shaking when that happened. I'm a mess. I'm a mess, Lizzie. I'm a mess. I'm dying. <laughs> I just kind of, I don't even know what I did. I just kind of, like, stared at the screen <laughs> and just, like... Cause I I seen the one of the clips and I knew they weren't gonna do it, but for some reason I was like maybe maybe you know maybe they will maybe right? this time they will. <laughs> but no. I've been seeing a lot of people say though that like since we've been getting so many Kanan and Hera things, that means something bad is going to happen to Kanan. Yeah. And I'm just not ready to accept that. Like at all. I'm trying to like, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm trying to do something, but it's not working. You don't even know what you're trying to do at this point. Nope. Oh, I want Callus's jacket. It's a cool jacket. Okay. So me. I want the jacket. I do. I think I did something to Thrawn. Okay. Like the picture. Okay. So, right. anyway. Um, so the occupation then, flight of the Defender. Lothcats. Yes, Lothcats and Loth Wolves. There's so many Lothcats, it made me so happy. I love them. Which one was Kibbles? All of them. <laughs> They're that's, all Kibbles. No, that's Kibbles. Kibbles is family. Kibbles is the brown. Okay. The original. Okay. God, Zoe. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, Flight of the Defender. As I loved Ezra's little wave to Thrawn when he got caught. Like, he wasn't even trying to hide anymore. He was just waving. Hi, Axel. Axel, join us. No. I'll just, as you, dinner's almost ready. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> Bye. Leave the puppy. No. <laughs> the no, puppy. it's too dark to see. No, I'm gonna look white. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just Axel, join yes. us. We're talking about no. rebels. No. No. Okay. No. I see a puppy, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the puppy butt. 
Okay, um, Slide of the Defender, uh, I, I do like how Thrawn was, like, when he was trying to figure out who was in the ship with Ezra, he was like, no, they're not good enough to be Hera, and then when Sabine got the thing disabled really quickly, he's like, oh, well, the person is awesome, so it's Sabine. The like, person? When, okay, so when he was staring at the ship while they were flying towards them, I was like, how are they missing him? First of all. And then second of all, I thought he was going to look... I thought he was going to be cool and, like, have his gun and, like, shoot it at a certain part of the tie. And that would just like, do something. I don't know. I thought Thrawn was going to be cool, but he wasn't. He wasn't. No. He's Mr. Blue's Clues. I thought you were Blue's Clues. No, I'm Blue's Clueless. He's Mr. Blue's Clues. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Um, what else happened in that episode? You know, in the trailer, when we saw, like, Sabine, and she was, like, unconscious on the wolf, I was expecting her to get, like, really hurt, and Ezra had to carry her home, but the lost wolf just like, no, nighty night, gotta talk to Ezra. <laughs> Go to bed. In the end, he says, doom. Doom. Now, does he but, say, like, does he say doom? D-E-M-E. Well, does he? Because he it didn't really spell it. Does he say D-O-O-M or D-U-M-E? It's D-U-M-E. People were watching it in subtitles. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That is D-U-M-E. Well, because there is the one scene in the one trailer where, like, Kanan is on the speeder, and the wolf is like, Hi, what's up? And Kanan's like, Oh, no. I don't want to make roadkill. Stop. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I love Loth Wolves. I want one. I think Puppy's tired. Puppy is little Loth Wolf. We were putting him on top of Bingo and look like the white Loth <laughs> cat on top of the Loth Wolf. You need to draw I'm like sleepy. little gray things on Bingo and then he's a Loth Wolf. Hi, baby. And we need to take this guy's eyes out so we can put blue eyes in. Or Photoshop. <laughs> that too. <laughs> He's so little, I love him. He's tiny. Um, okay. What else? What else about that episode? I love how like at the end, Sabine is just like on the ground, just like sprawled out, like same. Just she's just laying there, like Great. Yeah. They were both I- very good episodes. I like going back to Lothal. It's a good time. I don't, it was all in flames and made me so sad. Hey, puppy. Um. So. <laughs> um. All right. Do you have any more words about rebels? Words. No. Words fail you. Okay. So this is like a quick news thing. So I'm not caught up at all. <laughs> On with the comic books. I oh, think me? I've read I read the first couple issues of Chewbacca because I made a costume for the girl in Chewbacca but I only read like the first three issues. So I did that. And I read all the Kanan ones. That I read the C-3PO one. And I started the Darth Maul. But that's it. I really need to... Once I catch up, I have only have five of the books left to read. Once I catch up on those, I'll get started on the comics. <laughs> but um anyway apparently because this was this was like news that was everywhere so hard to avoid it spoilers if you somehow haven't heard and want to go into the Darth Vader comics blind but um there's like a list of Jedi who survived Order 66 and Yoda and Ahsoka were on there but also um someone named Case Baradun was on there. I don't really know who that is. And um, someone named Kirok in Fila. Don't also don't know who that is. And uh, Joe Costa knew. So she's like cool librarian. And someone that I think your dad knows. I'm not really sure. But yeah, Quinlan I'm not sure either. <laughs> but Quinlan Voss was on there too. So yeah, I don't really have many thoughts except Voss comics. Hopefully. 
so. Yeah, yeah. I know he'll be happy. I won't Maybe be. Voss will get a new costume. That would be sad if all he thinks about is Ventress. That's the, <laughs> that's the comic series, Voss just sitting in, like, in exile in a little hut, just like, oh man, I miss Ventress. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's like 50 issues a million pages each just boss being sad and depressed <laughs> yeah so that's cool and um yeah yeah I don't know I don't have many thoughts although I did notice that Obi-Wan was not on the list and Caleb Doom was not on the list. Hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe it means the list wasn't complete. Or, like, maybe they only showed us a part of it or something. I don't know. But Obi-Wan and Caleb Doom were not on the list. Hmm. It's interesting. Interesting. What does it mean? I don't know. So yeah, that's it. I'm out of words. Me too. Okay. So. I'm out of words and you're out of words. Being out of words is not good on a podcast. So I guess we'll just end it there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like we don't spend enough time talking about Rebels episodes, but I don't know. I don't have... I have, like, I have lots of feelings, but not lots of words for those feelings. <laughs> so I'm just kind of stuck. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, of course I love Rebels. Like, you know, it happened. That's yeah. it. That's all I can say about yeah. it. Yeah. I don't have, like, I have lots of feelings. I just don't know how to express those feelings besides just making sounds. And, yeah. Is All that right. Miss Hinton? Yeah, he's Bye. home. Too late to help me with a problem that I took way too long to solve. <laughs> okay. Well, it's okay. We fixed it. Well, you fixed it. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll wrap it up. Um, I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. Thank you for listening to Star Wars Geek Girl. May the Force be with you, and goodbye. Bye.